Oh yeah, it goes right in it. Yep. All right, so this is a fiber tachometer. It picks up the vibrations of the crankshaft. So what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna tell you to start, I'm gonna have you start it up. Now you don't wanna flip the throttle, you wanna kind of get it slow and steady. Okay. Once it hits the RPM, you're gonna see it tinging like this. Once it starts tinging like this, you just hold the throttle constant. You need to take a measurement with the decimeter in the back. I'm just gonna tell you right now, the state law is 94. You're way above that. Well, let's see where we're Okay, at. sure. Yep, absolutely. Hold on. You just got to start it. I got to start yeah, it. Just make Hold sure you're neutral, too. All right. Okay. There. We got another one. Okay. We climb hills with this. Okay. Yeah, this thing is like designed for a drag strip. Yeah, it's, it's not designed for it's a. It's not a. It's not a. We're not a 300 footer. It's a. It's a. We climb hills with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a hill. It's a hill shooter. Yeah, and I, I'm not even sure. I mean, you know, just look at, at these things that you guys have as uh, spark arresters. Like, there's no stamp on them. So. Yeah. What's this? What kind of stamp is it? Have it, have? it would have a U.S. Forest Service approved stamp on it. Every every single spark arrestor that's designed to be sold has to be tested in California and once they go through you know, thousands of dollars of testing then they are, are stamped with U.S. Forest Service approved if, if it's a uh, spark arrestor. Okay. Which, yeah, we, we got those from uh, Jaws Performance. Yeah. That's where which, those come from. So. Yeah, well, you know, there's like I said, there's not a stamp on there so that tells me that they're not tested. Sure. So they're not sure. know, a qualified spark arrestor. Okay, yeah. And this is a snowmobile engine, correct? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, snowmobiles don't even have spark arresters on them, so I don't know, you know yeah. why this company would be, yeah. you know, offering that. Out, yeah. So. We asked for them. No. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Yeah. We're like, hey, we want custom pipes. This is what we need, and we need spark arresters. And they're like, all right, yeah. we can do it. Yeah. There's, like I said, there's not any, any stamping on this. So to me, that means they didn't send it to get tested. So it's not officially a spark arrestor. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, it, it, you know, it might stop sparks, but if it doesn't have that approval on there. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not arguing no, no, with you. I'm, I'm just. just I'm, I'm just giving you an explanation to it. Yeah, I'm just pulling information. Yeah, sure. No, yeah. that's why I'm here for. Is getting information. But yeah, this thing unfortunately can't operate out here. I mean, you probably take it down to, you know, the drag strip on Deer Road. But <laughs> what are they? Are they open? Yeah, actually, I think. They I mean, we've just... never we've never had it on on like a tree oh, yeah, on yeah. a dirt track. Yeah, it's always yeah, been think, a hill. Right, right. I think uh, I think they actually have a race this weekend. I don't know if it's too late to do it, but yeah, it's just it can, you know this is. Sure. Not where this thing is. Absolutely. Be, so. okay. okay. All right. Thanks, cool, man. Yeah. Yep. No Thank problem. You. Glad we yep. can help you. Thanks, out. guys. Yep. Thank you.